Okay, so I'm going to just quickly go through setting up Dreamweaver um, and creating a basic website. So first thing is we're going to start up Dreamweaver. So I'm searching, so Windows S and Dreamweaver. So if this is the first time that you have um, used Dreamweaver, it will come up with, um, like, have you used it before? Um, select a workspace, that sort of thing. So um, if you have used it before, um, it will come up looking something like this. Um, if it doesn't look similar, you can um, you can reset your standard workspace or develop, like if you accidentally selected developer um, or standard, you can reset them up the top here. So I would suggest doing that. So um, Dreamweaver actually works on the concept of sites. Um, so we've got a lot of um, files we're going to work with through a um, web site. So we're going to actually manage our site and you may have um, a site there already and you can drag down and select manage sites. So I'm going to create a new site and a site needs a name. So this is my um, demo website and it also needs a location. So I put my websites, I'm going to go school related, so you put it wherever you want, um, teaching, semester two, um, I'm going to just create a new folder, new folder, um, demo website, and inside that folder I'm actually going to create a new folder and this is going to be website. So, I've given it a name and I've given it a location, so I've browsed to that, so I'm going to select that folder. So make sure that that is a location and I'm going to save. So now I've got demo website, it's a Dreamweaver website. If I made a mistake, I can edit it or I can delete it and recreate it. So I'm going to go done. And what it does is it creates a project and it's based in that website and you can see the file path. Now the file path is where on your computer I can find that. Now a website needs some basic files and to start off with I'm going to right click and I'm going to go new folder and I'm going to go images lowercase and um, no spaces. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this styles. These just give us a little bit of organization. So I've got images and styles, and they're folders. I'm going to select my site root folder, and I'm going to right click new file, and I'm going to call this index.html. I'm going to then, I'm going to go new file, and I'm going to call this about.html, and I'm also going to right click new file, and I'm going to call this privacy.html. Now, if lowercase, no spaces, if I mistype or they've got two spaces or anything like that, I can right click, edit, and I can rename, delete, whatever I want to do. The last file that we need now is actually a new file in our style, so I right click styles, and I'm going to call this main, and delete the, CSS, the HTML, and I'm going to go .css. Now, that's my site setup. So I've got this big window here, and I need to actually edit something in it. So I'm going to double-click index.html, and it's going to give me this window here. Now, up the top here, I've got code view, split view, and live view. Live view is a um, is a view of what my page should look like. So split view or code view is the actual code of my page, the HTML, and the split view is HTML and a preview. Now sometimes the preview is not as accurate as the live view, so, um, but it gives me a rough indication of that. So I'm going to use code view and split view for a lot of this. So I know I'm in my index.html because that's that file there, and it creates this boilerplate code. So I'm going to rename this, and this is home page. So, and save, control S or command S, 
domain name. So this title will not appear anywhere in here or in Live View. That actually appears in the tab or the top of your um, web browser. So um, very unprofessional to have um, untitled document. So I can redo or undo. Um, so very unprofessional. So I'm going to put um, a style sheet in. So I've got this blank style sheet, and in my style sheet, I'm going to go. I want my the body of my website to be. I'm going to have background and it background. I hit enter to um, complete it, and I'm going to use color picker, and I'm going to choose a fairly dark blue. That dark blue. Now I can change the representation. So I'm going to use hex So for the hex or RGBA are appropriate. So I'm going to actually might use RGBA. So that's my thing. And I'm going to hit enter and it puts that in there. The next thing I'm going to say is I want my colour of my font to be and I'm going to choose just Alice Blue. So I'm going to save my style sheet. So go back here and I'm going to have a look. So I've made a style, I've made the body and it should be dark blue and Alice blue. So I might type H, H, H1 home page just so I can see. So in my split view I've got home page but it's not Alice blue because I actually have to link between my main style and my index.html. Now I have to do this on every page, um, so I'm going to point every page that I edit to my style sheet. And to do that I use the link and then I use the href uh, equals and in Dreamweaver I can actually browse to it and styles and main, or I could have just typed styles main.css. And then I need to go type type equals text.css and then rel equals style sheet and close my thing. And because I have linked into that, it now knows about the styles and it can do that. Now I don't particularly like that font, so I'm going to change that quickly. So to change that, I'm going to open up Chrome and I'm going to go to fonts.google.com fonts.google.com and I'm going to pick a font. Now this is, um, I'm going to pick, I'm going to use this as my, I'm going to select that font as my body font and I need a heading font. Well, that looks quite nice. That one might be a good heading font. I'm going to use that as heading font. So I've just picked two fonts. Like you can spend some time pick your fonts. Now down the bottom, it has um, two. You can select the two font families. So I we need to use the import, and we copy the at import up to the semicolon and we put that into our main.css right at the top and that's got the two fonts and the second part of that is these are the how I actually specify the fonts so in my main.css I want my Um, body to be that, but I want my headings, so h1, I want the font family to be that. So if I comment that out, so comment that out, let's, oh, at, wasn't working because that's a high, not H1. So you can see
that the fonts are starting to work. Okay, so I'm going to put some navigation in. Um, so to do navigation, there's a couple of ways we can do that. As a resource, um, and quite often blocked at um, resources are blocked at school, but you sit there and you know, like you go, oh, I want to do navigation, but I'm not sure how to do it. Um, a good resource is actually, and one that is unblocked at school, is W3 Schools. Um, so just Googling search w3schools.com and we're going to go there. Now they have a search um, search function, stuff like that. So um, we know that we're doing um, HTML and CSS, so we can have a look at different references, examples, like, so I've got lots of different things like that, so CSS examples, um, and you can browse through all sorts of things, like so um, has all the stuff that you need to do things, so some advanced things, um, some of it you will not need, but I want to do navigation, so I'm going to um, look up navigation CSS and like add, 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 no, don't want ads, so be careful about the ads, so W3 schools navigation bar or how to create a top navigation, so there's two there, um, I'm actually going to go to the navigation bar because this one actually gives you examples of vertical or horizontal so with this, with W3 Schools, they give you some example HTML and then they show you how to actually style it. So we're going to borrow this code and in my HTML, I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to put this. Now I'm also going to put a comment, HTML comment and just saying where I got this code from. I also need to change um, index.html. So I'm changing the files. Um, news is about.html. Privacy. and I don't need that one at the moment and that is a bout. Now I've got the first part of that, so I've got the links there and they will link to each of those pages so that has to point to one of those. So we've got that. And then it's a matter of having a look at the different styles. So if I wanted that I would use the HTML there but I wanted a horizontal navigation so let's have a look at this. So this looks great. I want something like that. So I'm going to grab this. Now this is the styles. It's not HTML, it's CSS. So it doesn't go in my HTML page, it goes into my style. So I've already got those there. So I'm going to paste that into there, save it, have a look at this and I should be able to see something like that. Okay, and this here, navigation, sh needs to go on every single page. Now, I've just copied that from W3 Schools. I should be able to have a look at that. So that's the unordered list. I've got a color for the background. I can change that background color, red. And I save that, oh, that's horrible. So. Um, I'll change it back to that. So you can actually change lots of different things. So hover, um, blue, so you can do lots and lots of different things here. Um, so in my main.css, so save that, save that, so got that. So that's the first bit, um, getting the navigation done. So next bit I'm going to show you is how to actually set up a second page. So I'm going to stop this video um, and I'm going to do a second video where I actually show you how to set up 
a second page and we can actually use this navigation.